Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. Well, yesterday, although we gapped up in the morning, we kind of spent the day in uh, really an uncertain chop. We we certainly have uncertainty, uncertainty because of some of the economic data coming our way. Um, with the particularly that GDP number on Wednesday and and more Jerome Powell uh, talk, but we also have the uncertainty of the technical and price resistance levels in the chart that we're trying to deal with in this market, and then if we add in that possibility that we could see some end of quarter window dressing. Boy, it's just really hard to know what comes next, and so the market seems a little bit uncertain. Yesterday, um, and before the close, I suggested um, to members of Right Way Options that I wouldn't be surprised to see a gap up tomorrow morning because we're, we don't seem to be able to get the follow through intraday. And so institutionally, they push that gap um, or push that move to the upside, trying to get more and more people to buy as we push up toward price resistance levels. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some ideas about how we may want to approach the market for today. You know, when we get gap ups in the morning, like we're um, potentially experiencing yesterday, nothing happened, and then we gap up this morning. It creates that, um, that fear of missing out, that urgency that I have to hurry up and buy something because I am missing out on the move. Unfortunately, um, we could be buying or chasing in right at the wrong time. Remember, as we press toward these resistance levels in the chart, that's exactly where we could potentially fail. Not that we will, but we could potentially fail. I want to point out what happened here last time. When we set up here, everybody thought, hey, it's going to be great. It's all over. We're going to move higher. And as we pushed on and kept trying to hold this up, we gap and whip around, then ultimately we sold off. Remember, that is a major um concern as long as we continue to downtrend in the chart. So as we approach these resistance levels in these charts, we're going to want to be thinking about that pretty carefully. The last place you want to be buying stock is when the market is pushing toward price resistance in the chart or downtrend in that chart. So consider that carefully. And if we take a look, as you can see, certainly not a bullish situation here in the Dow. Um, and if we were to take a look at our technicals, certainly not bullish in the technicals as well with our 50 down through the 500, 34 and 20 EMA providing a little bit of resistance in that chart. And then all of the price resistance that we have to deal with in this chart, we're getting closer and closer and closer to that. So be very, very careful. If we look at the SPY, very much the same situation. We're trying to poke up again this morning, push up against this resistance level in the chart. We want to keep in mind short-term downtrend remains in a in play resistance levels remain in play on that chart so you want to be careful chasing in or buying at resistance or getting caught in that fear of missing out and if we look at our technicals here well it's still very dismal here on the technical front 50 below the 500 34 and 20 ema down here putting a lid on the market at the moment so be kind of careful if we take a look at our qqq a very similar situation here in the nasdaq we're pushing into this downtrend pushing into price resistance in the chart this would be exactly the place that we would be watching for that potential of failure so keep a close eye on that 
you can't rule out that possibility of end of quarter window dressing to continue to push us up a little bit. Remember, we've only got three more trading days to the end of quarter. And um, we commonly see institutions kind of window dress at the end of a quarter. So it's certainly possible that we can move on higher. But once again, I would really caution you about chasing in with the fear of missing out. And then if we look at our um, technicals here in the chart, still certainly uh not bullish um 50 day moving down pretty sharply here um providing that potential resistance in the chart above on the technical basis and then our russell iwm was the only one yesterday that was able to manage and hold a bullish uh, day um, closing in the green on the day and we're pressing right into these resistance levels in the chart still having to deal with these downtrend levels um, in the chart as well so um, looking this chart over technically there certainly is nothing in that chart technically that would suggest a great deal of bullishness um, uh, yeah, something we should be watching for let's take a look at our vix now our vix kind of interesting like yesterday it, it it's spent the entire day just kind of running around in an inside day with a candle just kind of hanging out inside yesterday or Friday's candle but that surge right at the end of the day where we pushed up just a little bit we had that VIX sink just a little bit more and so we're down here around 26 20 uh, you know 26 handles and that as you guys know is a fairly significant level um, in the chart of uh, price support so we'll want to keep a close eye on that that runs back through that chart a very long ways and if we want um, take a look here we're still holding on to this little upside trend here in the chart and we still have this price support in here to be watching carefully so the question is going to be can we have enough energy in that um, in the bullishness this morning to maybe push us down below this area or will we utilize this area as a price support in the VIX bouncing back up, seeing a little bit more selling coming into the market? I think both of those um, are possible today as we kind of wind down this quarter with a whole lot of uncertainty ahead of us. Um, if we take a look at our T2122, T2122 um, shows us that although yesterday we had that gap up open, we just couldn't quite follow through. And we have some resistance um, above in this chart, if you'll notice, right up here between 90 and 100 is our bearish reversal zone. So if we can continue to find that inspiration and the gap up this morning is certainly going to provide a little bit of that lift. We could be right up here into that bearish reversal zone pretty quickly. So watch carefully. That shows that potential if we're up here that short-term overextension and then we want to be watching for that possible pullback keep in mind that t2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market it only tells us when we're kind of stretched out in the high probabilities that we're up here at a high level and we can see the bears come back into play so if we stretch up here just watch carefully for that possibility if we don't make it all the way up there then that means we still have that possibility over the next couple of days that we could keep stretching to that upside trying to reach this short-term overbought condition so watch that carefully no particular worries there now if those bears find reason for inspiration here we'll want to keep an eye on this 10 area and the zero area and that's where we come down into the bullish reversal zone and so if we find that the bears find a uh, pickup inspiration day we we also know that we've opened up a pretty substantial uh, pullback possibility in that chart you know another thing we should probably be considering when we look at these indexes is that possibility that we could spend a considerable period of time in consolidation and why would that be 
Well, remember, the end of quarter is we're just about there to the end of the quarter. and We're going to begin another earnings season in about three weeks. And there probably is going to be, it's probably going to be a challenging earnings season considering the inflation, the rising rates, and things like that. So we'll want to consider that possibility that we may chop in a rather wide range going sideways here in the market as we wait for that next earnings report. So it's another reason to be careful not to race in or chase in because it may just kind of stall and die on the vine. It makes it very, very difficult to make much money if the market goes into kind of one of those uncertain choppy zones in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has a couple things we'll want to be paying attention to as you can see we've got international trading goods coming out here in the morning continuing to expect that to be a substantial deficit um, but maybe a small improvement over last time so watch that close and then we've got case shiller home prices i think everyone is probably expecting case shiller to be pulling back as um, rates go up, housing uh, prices may start to diminish just a little bit. I do think the consensus is suggesting that house prices continue to rise just at a slower pace. So keep an eye on that. That doesn't help us on that inflationary point if they keep going up and up and up in housing prices. And then, of course, the consumer confidence number we will want to watch carefully for that. We do have some Fed speakers here today, and we do have some bond um, uh, auctions that we'll want to be paying attention to as well, because bond prices are ticking back higher again this morning. Then if we take a look um, as we wait for this number, this is probably going to be one of the big market movers of the week, that GDP number coming out before the market opens. So remember, there won't be anything you can really do about it if you buy up a whole bunch of stocks today that don't don't get a whole lot of, of um potential movement waiting on this number. So kind of keep that in mind and be kind of careful if you um, feel that need to rush in and that fear of missing out. And then keep in mind right after that, we're going to get more Jerome Powell uh, likely tough talk on inflation. Um, so watch that carefully at nine. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, again guys, we're continuing to diminish and we're getting uh, the number of uh, the earnings are or running out of good quality earnings, I should say. We had Nike um, report after the bell. That was a pretty good quality report. And they reported better than expected. But as you can see, um, looking at a gap down here this morning on Nike. But for today, we have AVAV on um, the docket here to report. Now certainly this stock has been a little bit in um, an uncertain pattern, this wedging pattern, um, kind of consolidating toward earnings. So keep a close eye on that. Um, CGNT, CGNT reporting um, looks like they have missed this morning moving on lower. We have EPAC um, on that list today. Um, keep a close eye on that. This has been challenging some price resistance heading into to its earnings, continuing to move in that downtrend. Um, SNX reporting today, it looks like they're trying to move higher, but we'll have to also kind of keep in mind, this is certainly not a bullish chart um, as we continue to move um, down in this channel. So as we press up, um, watch that carefully. Um, AMED, now it's interesting, um, whoops, um, AMED shows on the TC2000 system that it's not reporting until 8.3, but everything out there says that they will be reporting today. So um, watch that carefully. That's um, still a little bit of an uncertainty. And last but not least, uh, PRGS um, reporting today. Watch that carefully as we um, try to approach this resistance high in the chart heading into earnings. That could be an important report. We do have this little upside trend running. Um, in that move, but that'll be um, 
important as we approach that earnings. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video and continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave brief comments. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Probably one of the most important things to keep the channel growing is the um, the activity around the video you know folks posting and um, continuing to post and thumbs up other comments um, it's that engagement with the with the video that makes a difference so thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that i know it's a pain to do that every day but i do appreciate um, the support of the effort of putting these videos out it may means the world to me and i do I do truly appreciate it. And also thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee link that's just below the title of the video. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, uh, with the, the current condition of the market, I, I really want to continue to echo that caution out there to be very, very careful um, in this market. There's a lot of uncertainty out here. First off, let's take a look at some of these um, drug makers, healthcare stocks. Take a look at Merck. Um, Merck, a big old V bottom pattern here. Just wow. Big V bottom. Now, I think Merck needs a consolidation or a rest. Um, in this move. Notice we're trying to break through this resistance right in here. If we could pull back or rest, consolidate in this move, then I would look for that next opportunity into the chart. You can see this is a significant breakout up here, but I wouldn't want to chase it. It's pretty hard to put a stop loss under this. We could easily see this move sharply lower um, in, in even a day or two um, to come back and test support. So I would wait for that consolidating rest to occur in uh, Merck and then look for that next opportunity. BMY is another one that is, um, uh, we struggled and struggled and struggled to break through this resistance. As a matter of fact, the bears came in and pushed us down and then, and then we zoomed right through to the upside. So watch this carefully in here. BMY needs probably a consolidation or a rest pull back to test support, and then I'd be watching for that next opportunity into BMY. If you take a look at J&J, &J, uh, Johnson & Johnson, um, showing similar patterns here. Now we are approaching price resistance in the chart, but what I do like about this chart is that we have pushed back above this resistance level. So any rest or pullback in here, consolidation could set up that next opportunity. And, honestly it kind of sets up that inverted head and shoulders pattern that could push us on through to the upside so keep an eye on j and j you might want to take a look at um, stocks that well they were really covid favorites um, but have suffered a lot since then um, but now we're starting to see some bullishness. Take a look at Chewy. Chewy coming up through that downtrend. So we push through that downtrend. Yesterday we got a little bit of selling and I think that's a good thing. So if this, if Chewy could rest or consolidate now, rest back and consolidate, we want to see this trend be engaged here. Um, so a little bit of resting and cons consolidation, you might want to watch a chart like that for that potential upside. Take a look at Zoom Mobile. Now we've talked about this one before, Zoom Mobile breaking up through that downtrend, putting in that higher low, pushing through to the upside. Now I wouldn't chase it right here. Um, to the upside, let's we'll let that little rest and consolidation happen, occur, pull back in here to support, look for that next opportunity um, for that to pop up in Zoom Mobile. Take a look at Snow. Snow is another one of those um, stocks, uh, again, kind of a COVID favorite, um, high speculation type thing, but boy, it's really come down a lot here. So let's watch for that next opportunity. We're breaking that downtrend in the chart, 
We broke through some resistance in the chart. Now let's look and see if we can get some resting consolidation in here and that would develop that potential upside trend. So watch carefully on a stock like Snow trying to come back around and show some bullishness. Now on the selling side of things, what you might wanna be doing is watching some of these stocks that have been rallying back to significant resistance levels. Take a look at a stock like Apple. Apple pushing back up significantly in the chart, but it's really not hard to visualize that this is a pretty substantial resistance level in um, Apple. So as we push back up and keeping in mind, we're still moving in a downtrend, we could see um, Apple um, fail in this area and move lower. And when you think about earnings coming um, here over the next, uh, well, uh, three weeks or so, we'll probably start getting earnings on these big techs. You could certainly see the possibility that um, uh, consumers not outspending as robustly as they have in the past could show some problems. And as a matter of fact, we might start hearing in the very near future some warnings from companies that they're going to miss. So watch that closely as we approach those resistance levels in Apple and kind of keep that in mind as we push up in some of these stocks. Um, and hit these resistance levels, we want to be really careful not to be chasing in or thinking that all is great and remembering that those earnings reports coming might be a little bit challenging this quarter. So watch stocks like that for that potential of that potential short. And I would even say that as far as the indexes, as a matter of fact, um, I will be watching and looking closely. I was looking for them yesterday, potential bear call credit spread trades um, on the indexes. Just the prices weren't quite there. The timing wasn't quite right. Um, um, waiting, being patient, and I think that's going to be important in this market. Be a little bit more patient. Expect to get a high quality trade before you jump in. Don't allow that emotion to dictate your trading. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You guys humble me every day with your kindness. Be safe. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.